Hello everybody, Ken here, back with a very special supplemental episode of Grow Home. Uh, I wanted to finish off a few achievements, so I thought I'd hop back into the game, record myself doing that, and cut it down into a slightly smaller package. So, after the end of episode 14, you can see I dive down here, looking out for a glide leaf, because we needed that for the first achievement I wanted to get which is called Icarus. Now, there are a few achievements that are purely progression-based, glide for half an hour, use 50 full flowers. I'm not going to cover those here because they're all fairly self-explanatory. But first up is Icarus. So, for this one you have to glide under three rock arches. Uh, they're all quite low down. This one is on the first kind of major island you climb up to. And you can glide onto it from anywhere. Now I recommend doing this after you've got all 100 crystals. If you're getting all the achievements, you'll have to do that anyway. And uh, it will make your life easier because you have infinite boost. Now the other two arches are both on the beach. This one here is uh, fairly obvious. You can kind of just sweep right down to it. And then the third one is actually in view. It's just gone out of view now. But... Uh, if you can see that little thing there, that's the third arch. And uh, this one is not quite so simple, as you can see. Bud making a real real mess of things there. But it's okay. Because I went back, tried again, I tried again. I went off this rock. That didn't really work. You're a little bit too close. So eventually, I started from further back. Got my glide in. Just hung off the floor. And that was enough, and that actually counted for the achievement, and we were done. So, on to Sheep Dipper. For this, I had to drown three sheep. Now, you'll remember, we did actually drop one sheep into the water in the past. But I don't think that one counted. I think you have to fully drag them in yourself. Now, uh, Bud, as we know, is an expert at grabbing the nearby wildlife. But in the end, we managed to get hold of one. And uh, take this poor fellow over to the water. I felt quite bad doing this achievement, really. But um, you've got to get the points. And as we all know, Bud, no stranger to callous animal treatment. Please note, no animals were harmed in the making of this video. Except for the meeps. So there we go. Dragging Bud, well, Bud dragging our little sheep friend into the sea. He blows up. We get some lovely achievement points. Just one more to go now, bud. Right there. Just go and grab him. Yep. Just just grab on. Grab that sheep. Go on, bud. You can do it. Got him. Nope. You haven't got him. Get him, bud. Nope. That's, uh, that's a gourd. There we go. I find it a lot easier to push the push the meep around, I think, than I operate the traditional way uh, of kind of trying to pull them. I think it's a lot easier if you can get slightly behind and push them along with you. So on to five a day. For this, I had to suspend five different plants in the Telerouter. Now, I hadn't tried this because at one point I got a few in and one of them disappeared. And I thought maybe it just couldn't fit so many things in. But as it turns out, you can. So I found the beach is a great place to do this. We got this first jerkweed just off next to the beach. The standard colour jerkweed. Then uh, there was that gourd we found lying around. Plop that in. Bit of the cactus here. Good stuff. Squeeze it all in, bud. I grabbed a mushroom that was in the in the the little cove by the beach by the where the stuff washes up on shore force it in there and I needed one more thing and I suddenly remembered that there was that red jerkweed just over here in this little secret alcove and we found this at one point during our playthrough and I thought it probably counts as a separate species from the the pink jerkweed so let's give it a crack. So I bumped it out the ground, 
grabbed it, took it back over, and lo and behold, it worked. And we got our achievement. So there you go, that's five a day. Now onto shroom trampoline. I spent a long time trying to do this, and I think the trick is, you can't boost. It has to just be jumps. And you have to jump on a mushroom for two whole minutes without landing anywhere else or using boost. Thankfully, I, uh, I got a handy tip off, which is that if you grab onto a mushroom with both hands and just mash the jump button, you won't, uh, you won't use the rocket boost because you're holding on tight and you can just keep bouncing and eventually you should get the achievement. So that's what we did here. Look at Bud, just pounding away on this mushroom. <laughs> Good old Bud. Look at him go. And uh, we got our achievement after two minutes of solid mushroom bouncing. Shaken, not stirred. Very James Bond, of course. Look at that icon. Now the trick here is to knock your glide leaf off. And I found the best way to do this is to fly under the star plant. Just like that. Bump into it. Now, with infinite boost, this is a lot easier. But it's still not very easy. The glide leaf's quite small. So you kind of want to get down below it. Let it fall down. It will fall uh, faster than you if you're boosting, obviously, but slower than you'll fall overall because it's a leaf and it's got good air resistance under it. So I managed to grab it just here, just before we hit the sea. Dun 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 dun. There we go. Great job, bud. You did it just in time. And uh, that's shaken, not stirred. And on to our, our final achievement. Now, this is kind of a progression achievement, but uh, it's a lot to climb 10,000 meters. Now, apparently, it includes holding onto these things and uh, pushing them around, which if you wear the green skin, uh, the nature bud, they grow twice as far. So you can do that. And that works quite well. But what also works is you'll notice we broke off one of the big jump leaves. And if you grab onto that, it actually counts as climbing. So you grab it, you hold on tight, and you fall. And as long as you're holding onto this glide leaf, it counts as climbing. So it's a little bit cheeky, but it's a really fast way to go about it. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just ride lots of shoots around. Just grab the, grab the star shoots the little star flowers, be nature bud so they grow twice as far, and bash them about. But this worked really well. I had to do this just a couple of times and I had my achievement. But I did do a lot of climbing in the main game, so if you rush through the main section, this bit may require two or three of them. So the best way to break them off is just to ride the star flower up through the plant or through the leaf and push it out the way. And that's basically all our achievements. I spent some time grabbing a full flower, jumping up, deploying the full flower and slowly falling until it runs, ran out and then grabbing another one, rinse and repeat. I uh, just did some general gliding, which was very pleasant actually, just gliding around the map with the, the glide leaf. Did a few other bits and bobs. Uh, I, uh, I think any of the other achievements, there are a couple of weird ones like teleport while holding a meep. So you have to take a meep in, grab hold of it and teleport somewhere else while you're without letting go. And uh, a few other progression achievements. Um, but I think we covered basically everything. And, uh, and that's it. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to bop that like button and uh, subscribe for more content. That's been Grow Home and that is it. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Ken and I will catch you next time. Cheers.